Shalom Amakim. This your brother Lahab. Spirit was on me to hurry up and try to get this lesson, get this lesson in before I forget the precepts or whatnot. So uh, first and foremost, you know, I want to start off by giving infinite honor, infinite glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Hashem, Rakah Chodash, and double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who pushed his truth 100%, being a great example to us younger brothers, and peace and blessings to the Akim up under the elders, pushing his truth throughout the four winds with all faith, sincerity, and diligence. To you we say Shalom. And uh, Spear was on me to uh, hurry up and, you know, I, jot, I jotted these precepts down before I lost them. You know, I woke, woke straight up out of my sleep, man. I was down for some reason. I knew it wasn't nothing but the spirit that was on me. You know what I'm saying? Dreaming about precepts and stuff. So I hurried up, woke up, you know, before I forgot them and jotted them down, man. And so I'm going to go and get this lesson in, you know. And, and Lord willing, it's edifying to you brothers and sisters out there that choose to tune in. And uh, I'm going to title this lesson. Once again, humble down and respect the order that the Lord set up. Because we need to be humble in this thing, man. We have to be we have to humble down and be able to 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 respect the order, man. The Lord, the Lord set up order in, in the in our camps for a reason, man. You know. And and and. And and with that being said, man, we just we just need to follow him, man. And first and foremost, hey, I'm speaking to myself too as well, man. And I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off like this. Start off in Matthew, so on verse one. This is Matthew chapter 18, verse 1. It says, At the same time came the disciples unto Yahweh, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Verse 2. And Yahweh called a little child unto him and sat him in the midst of them. Verse 3. And said, Verily, I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye should not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So, hey, man, and, and we know one thing about the attributes of a little child, you know what I'm saying? They're very humble, you know what I'm saying? And they're, they're respectful, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so that's the frame of mind that we need to be in, man, being humble, you know, and, and another thing that children, that little children uh, uh, attribute is a child being able to be corrected. And then, you know, that's it, man. You know, that child is going to sit there and take that correction. You know. He's going to take it. You know, you could discipline your child and then next thing you know, hey. He coming back right to you, man. Loving you, man. You know, that's how we need to be. Take the correction, man. Follow order. That's what is. That's that's it, the order is here for a reason, man. Uh, what was that? I think I'm on verse four. <clears throat> verse four. In fact, let me turn. Do not disturb. Salakia. Let me see. Yeah. Verse four. It says, whosoever, therefore, shall humble himself as this little child, the same is is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. We got that's what it's all about. Humble, humble, humble yourself, man. Be humble. You know, be able to. Be able to take correction, man. Hey, we not perfect, man. We gonna fuck up. And hey, we not we may not be able to see our fuck ups or our mistakes, but another brother may see them, man. And that's when that brother steps in, 
and you know, uh, 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 makes the correction, man. And guess what? Accept it, man. Should nothing be said or, or none of that, man. There's a saying, sometimes the best response is no response at all, man. Take it in. Examine, man. Examine yourself. A brother, a, a brother correct you for a reason, man. And we got to think about it as it being bigger than us. That's the Lord correcting us, man. If you truly find your, if you truly believe and have faith that the Lord is dealing with yourself, dealing with you and other brothers, you know, and you have faith in the Lord and you have faith that the Lord is dealing with you. Hey, then <laughs> accept, the, accept the correction. Accept that the Lord is, is trying to tell you something, man. It's, it's simple, man. Respect the order that the Lord didn't set up, man. It's, it, it's simple. Verse 5. It says, And whoso shall receive one such little one in my name receiveth me. That's basically the point right there. Yeah, that's basically the point. <laughs> now I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to this one. Go to Isaiah. Start is Isaiah. I'm start at verse six. This is Isaiah chapter fifty five, verse six, and he reads, "Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near." And Amen. And we know. That we we have a short time, man. We we have a short we have a short time. Like, hey, we know <laughs> we know we have a short time, man. Here, yeah. things are hey, these prophecies are moving. Hey, things are jumping off. The prophecies are jumping off the page, man. Hey, we see it, man. That karagma is right around the corner. Hey, we don't have time to be playing, man. And if you truly believe in the Lord, man, you hey, hey, who, who are you to 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 not be able to accept a little correction, man, a little rebuke, a, a little rebuke? We ain't in the times to be bullshitting, man. Playing. I'm gonna read that over again. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And how is he near? How is he near to us, man? Through the men that the Lord has set up, man. Through his men. Through his sincere Achium that he has set up, man. And once again, the Lord, the Lord set set certain men up in certain positions for a reason, man. Verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. So, hey, man, we need to <laughs> we need to forsake these these wicked ways, these wicked thoughts, man. Respect the order, man. And let him and, let me see, and let him return unto the Lord. Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. So if the Lord, hey, if you if you able to humble yourself down and, and, and follow orders and accept correction, man, hey, 
the Lord dealing, the Lord going, the Lord dealing with you, man. This is the Lord's show, man. Hey, and we have to keep that in mind. And here go to here go to point right here. Go to point. It says, this is a, uh, verse eight. For my thoughts are not your way, Salakia. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Hey, it, <laughs> and ain't no breaking that down, man. The Lord has certain men set up with, with leadership positions for a reason, man. And we, hey, who are we to who are we to to come against that, man? The Lord just said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, and neither your ways my ways, man. The Lord got everything set up how he wanted, man. Not, a, not according to how we want it. It's according to how the Lord wants it, man. This is his show, man. And that's basically the point right there. Man, we have hey, man, we we ain't in we ain't in no times, man, of 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 of, of being too overly emotional. Hey, man, we we men at the end of the day, man, and we have to prove ourselves as such, man. We need to take heed to the Lord's words, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this as well. I skipped the precept, but it's it's okay. We gonna all we gonna all get to it. Matter of fact, I'm go like this quicker. There we go. Right here. Isaiah 28 and 9. It says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. <coughs> so that's what it's talk about a baby, man. We have to revert. We have to revert back to that little child, to that baby, man. To the milk. You know, to uh, to be humble and not only to, to humble yourself down and be able to 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 accept correction. And, and, and I mean, to to take correction, man. Hey, we have to humble ourselves down and become come as little children. Also, to understand the scriptures, man, to understand the doctrine. So this is a very important matter right here, man. That old way of thinking that we that we used to have in the past, man. Hey, that that's ha that has to go out the window, Akio. It does, man. We have to be we have to become that blank canvas, man, and let the Lord paint us a new picture, man. How he wants us to be. How the Lord wants us, man. Not 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 off of our own fucking agenda or, or, or our own ways or or something no man it through the through the spirit and power of the lord man we read that over again whom shall he teach isaiah 28 and 9 whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine man someone who's humble and someone who's coming back as that child man as that newborn babe that can actually be humble and, and, and take in take in this knowledge, man, and take in these scriptures and actually apply them, man. It's, it reads, them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Now I'm going to do it like this here. Let's 
because, hey, because one thing about it, and I'm about to get ready to close out. I didn't, I, I didn't intend for this this lesson to be too uh, long. Uh, if you if you truly, if you truly believe in the Lord's words and have faith in the Lord then you will believe in these scriptures, man. You will believe in these scriptures, man. And you'll definitely believe in this one. Bear with me. What it is. 1 Corinthians 14. Verse 40. Right here. It says, let all things slack you. This first Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. And it reads, let all things be done decently and in order. You can't make this, you can't make this up, man. Let's get order real quick. Let's see what order say. Strong's G 5010. Toxis. Toxis. Toxics. Let's see. See the strongs. Regular arrangement. Fixed succession of rank or character. Offic officially. Uh, dignity. Official dignity. Dignity, I hope I'm saying that right. Slaki Akio. But rank, man. Order. Fick uh, order, man. Oh, I like that one right there. Do or right do or right order, orderly condition, the post rank. Or position which one holds in civic or other affairs. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> uh, once again, man, the Lord has set up men with, with leadership positions for a reason, man. Hey. And, and who are we to, to come against it, man? We can't come against what the Lord has set up, man. Straight, straight like that, man. And if you if if you can't understand it, if you if you don't want to follow it, I mean, hey, like the apostles and the elders always say, go do your own thing, man. This is the Lord's show, man. Hey, hey, the Lord got it set up like this for a reason, man. Hey, and we need to follow it, man. You have faith in the Lord. You have faith in these scriptures. You going to do what thus says the Lord say do, man. And that's be that's being having everything done in decent in decency and in order, man. Straight like that. <clears throat> Let me get another one. <clears throat> This is Proverbs chapter 27, verse 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Hey, that hey, that means the Lord actually loves and cares about you, man. If he if the Lord is willing to, to rebuke you and correct you, man. Because when a brother when a brother give tries to correct you or giving correction, man, hey. <laughs> That man sees something that you may have not seen, man. And once again, hey, sometimes the best response is no response at all, man. Take it in. Soak it up, man. Evaluate, man. And I'm about to, I'm going to go ahead and close out. I, I, Lord willing, you know, the point was made. You know, and uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you brothers and sisters out there that choose to tune in. And I'm going to close it out by giving infinite honor, infinite glory to the most high in his son, 
Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawashai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who pushed his truth 100%, being a great example to us younger brothers, and peace and blessings to the Aki and Mapanja, the elders, pushing his truth throughout the four winds with all faith, sincerity, and indiligence. To you, we, to you we say Shalom, and Abal Babal, and Kwam Yasha'Allah. Shalom, Aki.